This is not something you see every day. Car submerged in the South Platte River. Air Tracker 7 flew over the scene of two vehicles that were spotted this morning as investigators just worked to make sure nobody needed help. Firefighters believe that nobody was inside the cars that actually went in the water. It's a good thing because conditions are very dangerous not right now. The water's moving very fast. Seven News reporter Lindsay Watts live in Denver with the latest. Vision Kelly, Denver police tell me they still do not know who owns these two cars. And they don't know how they got here. This uh, green minivan behind me with broken out windows. And then there's a white Honda Civic just upstream. We're in the area of Santa Fe and Florida. There's actually a third vehicle in the river here too, a red pickup that's underwater. Police say that one was involved in an accident. You may also see a gold Jeep in the South Platte. That one went in the water a while ago too. Firefighters in dive gear got in the river to search for anyone who needed help this morning but they are not going to be taking that same risk trying to get the cars out of the water the vehicles will stay put until the river isn't running so high and fast and that could be a while denver fire wants people to steer clear as well the soils adjacent to the river have become compromised and they are unsafe so just by standing next to the water, the, water, the soils could give and the individual could actually fall in. So we ask everybody to stay at least six feet away from water's edge. The South Platte River is even worse southwest of Denver and dangerous water conditions have closed roads. And there is a recreation ban for the river from the Jefferson Park County line to Chatfield Reservoir. And that is in place indefinitely for now. So just want to be very careful with yourself, your pets, and your vehicles around Colorado waterways right now, particularly the South Platte River. We're live in Denver, Lindsay Watt, 7 News.